Riley Sorrell coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Spitfields and I'm going to be showcasing a place called Poppies right here on Hanbury Street. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm going to let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. Welcome my fellow Sorolians. So today I'm in Poppies in Spitterfields. I've been meaning to come to this place for a very, very long time. So this is gonna be my first impression on this Poppies, which uh, is supposed to be a, real, a really big deal in London. So I've come and got the haddock with uh, fries. It's a regular size. It's like the typical, you know, chunky chips that you would expect to see uh, when you're having fish and chips at the seaside. It does look like it's been um, glazed with uh, vinegar, but I'll find out. No, that must just be the oil. It's coming straight from the fryer. Chips are very warm, soft. They've got a slight crisp to it. There's mainly just a goodness of you know, it's got a full body of potato in there. I'm just going to go ahead and pour some vinegar because I just feel like you're not doing it. You're not doing it justice if you don't pour some vinegar, some malt vinegar and some, some salt. Let's go again. That's good. Not the best chips I've had from a fish chippy uh, chop, but it's definitely up there. There was one place I went to in Brighton. Can't remember the name of it. I, I'm, I swear I did vlog about it. I think those chips were, were better, but these are still really, really good. At this stage, I'm just nitpicking, but yeah, these chips are really good. With each bite, you're getting a bit of um, different textures going on. So some of the, some of the chips are really soft full-bodied to others a bit more crunchy and I feel that gives it more makes it more dynamic gives it a nice um interesting experience but I'm getting carried away with the chips let's see what the actual um haddock is saying so I did ask them because I'm, I'm not fish expert what is better cod or haddock and apparently haddock is tastier let me know what you for guys think haddock or cod look at the level of batter in there um, I'm not sure if the camera is showing, but this fish is steaming hot. It's piping hot, I can tell. So I can see the steam coming off of the, um, the fish. Oh. This batter is so buttery. Flaky, crunchy. Okay. This fish is a heavyweight. I mean, the chips, I'd give them a strong eight out of 10. But this fish, hmm, dare I say a 10 out of 10. Okay. Now I know why this place is a big deal. I now know why it's a big deal. This fish, hands down, is the best um, bad fish I've had. And I mean, that doesn't really say much to be honest because I haven't had that many, but I've had quite a few and this is definitely the best I've had. I I I'm giving it a 10 out of 10, guys. I do like that they don't salt their chips, so you, you know you have the option of whether to have your fries, your chips with um, salt or not. And I love the fact that the food is served piping hot. It wasn't even a long wait. I think about 10 minutes I had to wait. And it is fairly busy in here. 
Um, the restaurant is pretty much packed and they have a takeaway service as well. To actually see what I'm enjoying, because I am really enjoying right now. And to think, I wasn't going to go out today. I'm so glad I went out. And I can tell Mrs. Sorola is going to be so, so, so jealous. I think this size is very appropriate and it's the smallest size that they have. I will say, price wise, I don't think it's terribly expensive to be honest. We all know how expensive fish is. So $13.95, this big, big portion of fish and chips that is filling. Yeah, I would say it's decent value. Not amazing value, but decent value. Overall, based on the fact that this meal is $39.5, food is piping hot. Food is, is delicious. No complaints. I'm going to give it and I hardly do this. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Yes, a five, 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 five. I think is I think it's decent value. Food is good, no complaints. And yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna be so mean and allow you guys to, you know, force you guys to watch me finish this entire mammoth of a meal. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the end of this review. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash the like button, comment below, share the video, and if you haven't already. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out my uh, merch. I've got many different designs and tees. And you can support me on Patreon. So, till next time, peace. Bwah.